Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy. Today we are decorating my planner for mid-October and we're going to use my printable stickers called the Boo Patch today. So this was the October theme. I make monthly trackers and then I also make matching stickers to go with them. Everything is printable. So I have just a few of the bigger stickers left, but I have quite a few of these middle size stickers and I thought it would be fun to use some stuff up and see what we can do with this. So first we're going to use some big pieces of washi and lay that down except I haven't taken the pages out yet. That might get in the way a little bit. Okay so we're just going to do a quick plan with me using some of my stickers and I think it's going to be really fun. This week, my daughter is going on her first field trip with her school. She's in kindergarten and they're going to a pumpkin patch. So I thought it would be a fun week to use these stickers and just decorate for um, this adventure. <laughs> so that's obviously not gonna go all the way across, but that's okay. I'm going to grab this one and do the same thing, but starting down here, just so there's a little bit of symmetry across the spreads. All right. So with all of this, we are going to need some boxes. So let's figure this out for a moment. Okay, I'm gonna wanna use all the big pumpkins. I'm not gonna use my tiny stickers. I love printing them off at different sizes. But we are going to use up as many of these ones as we can. And then those are all repeats. Okay, but we do need some boxes. So I'm gonna find some boxes that might go with this and then we'll get into it. All right, I grabbed jewel tone boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans and these don't look right, <laughs> but there were like the greens and then these browns and oranges that would be really great for this. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of those down before we decorate the spread just so that we know that I have enough functional stuff in here for what I need. All right, so first I always love putting down a big box sticker over here because it's going to serve as like a to-do list or a gratitude list or something like that. All right, and then over here, we are going to add just some boxes on every single day for meal planning because I haven't been as good with that lately and I want to focus on that. So I know I want some boxes. So I'm just going to put them up here in this extra section. Alrighty. All right, now that we have those, I typically have a bunch of activities going on with the kids every single day. Now that my daughter started kindergarten and we've got a play group for my son, we did just stop swim and we're starting ballet and so things are changing up a little bit but I like to put down boxes on each day to write down the like out of the house things so here I might put in like kindergarten and the um, little gym class that we have for uh, the toddler and you know all the appointments we have let's see mm -mm -mm. let's do this one and do a little layering. Um, so every day I want to get something around. We'll put this one up here. I kind of like that little shape. Okay, we need to get something in here.
will do that. I love layering boxes, as you guys know. And then for the weekend, just because this one isn't going to be layered, let's... Do I want to put another box here? Or should we just put some pumpkins and stuff? Let's just do some pumpkins and stuff. So I think this is going to be enough boxes. So now we're going to go ahead and put down these. I'm just going to put this guy right here because he fits perfectly. And then the first thing I want to do is get down this because it's the longest piece and everything else can go you know, somewhere else. So my question is, do I put these down here because it's a nice flat area or all the way up here just to fill the space? I kind of like it up here. Also like it there. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it here. Because I don't, other than like meal planning or whatever, I don't really use up here that much. So filling that gap really is going to be helpful and then I can put this down here yeah okay do I want it here because it's a nice spot to fill or do I want it all the way over here this one's in the corner too so I don't know that I want to put them both in the corner or here to fill this and then leave this open yeah I like that cool <laughs> All right, so then we're just gonna start filling in gaps all over the place. Like we've got that. We've got this little happy ghost carrying a pumpkin. We've got this other ghost with a pumpkin. So we'll put that one up here so they can be on different pages. And we just kind of want to get all our ghosts, you know, on the page somewhere. Okay, and then, see, I feel like we have more ghosts over here because of these guys. So we're gonna get these ones over here. I'll put this one up here. And then this guy is kind of a perfect shape to be the little header for our box right here. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, so we're just gonna get all the pumpkins in. I don't know if I'll use these because they are bigger than the rest of these. So these ones actually kind of fit really nicely. And again, since I don't use this section up a lot, I'm trying to get some of the pumpkins up here just to kind of fill some space. Oh, these are cute. Okay, so looking at the gaps right now, this can have a little bit and this is pretty wide open still. So, since I will find something to write down there anyways, we are gonna put a few more boxes on the page, just some little ones. I'm gonna put one box there and then a yellow one up here just to fill that gap and then we can add some decor around it to bring it all together. So put this green one here. That's looking better to me. I still can fill this a little bit. So we're going to make another little like kind of like this one, a little layer of pumpkins. <laughs> down here. I like that one, but let's get something behind it. Uh, this one. Okay. And then just right in front, we'll use that one. Okay. So we've got some little patches of pumpkins and we can just also keep filling things in pumpkins everywhere because it's almost Halloween. <laughs> okay, so I need to trim that little bit off. And then, you know what, 
we can do. One thing I always forget about, but every once in a while remember, is that we can decorate up here. <laughs> we don't need to keep that blank up there because we're not usually using up there. All right, so I have used up all the decorative stickers now from those three sheets of that size, except I made duplicates, didn't I? So I can grab a few more pumpkins in the correct size. Maybe add another ghost or two. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Let's put this one right over here. I actually really like that. And then we're just gonna add a few more pumpkins in these areas. All right, and this one, and then one more? One more right here, which one? I think another yellow one will work, but we'll just use part of it. Okay. Right, and there we have my boo patch spread for a pumpkin patch week. This is so much fun. I love it. I am working on this next month's ones, which are autumn hedgehogs, which are really fun. So I'm excited to show you guys those coming out on the 20th. All right, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.